CFX now supports fully automated firmware updates. How to set your Sabre up to support this? Let's have a look. To make the automatic firmware updates work, you need two things. First is you need a recent firmware version and second is you need a recent bootloader version. So that's the 1.21 bootloader. Um, best practice is to first update your firmware version because not all firmware versions can update the bootloader version. So it's important that you first update your firmware and after that we can upload uh, and update the bootloader. So let's first download this one and after that download the bootloader and we will place both of these files onto the SD card. So I'm already connected to my uh, CFX through a USB cable and I can uh, start the uh, mass storage mode. So uh, you can also place these files on your SD card uh, using any uh, SD card slot or uh, use RISE to enable this mass storage mode, but I'm of course using CrystalFX. Um, let's open the uh, Sabre. So this is the uh, SD card. I'll remove an existing firmware file and I'll go to the uh, downloads and open the firmware download first. I'll copy and paste the download firmware file to the SD card. Let's rename it to uh, FW. After that, I'll copy and paste the uh, 1.21 bootloader update file. Copy and paste it onto the saber. Rename it to boot. So now I have these two files on the SD card of the CFX. Then I will end the USB uh, mode by pressing the auxiliary button. And after that, I should be able to uh, reconnect to the uh, serial commands. All right. Um, then there are two commands that I can send to update the firmware manually. I'll enable uh, logging since the uh, fw.dat file is now on the SD card. I can first give the uh, bootloader command. And this will drop the connection and it will reboot the uh, CFX. If I reconnect right now, then uh, it will show me that it's in bootloader mode. So let's wait. Oh, I manually dropped the connection. So we can either press ACT to update or type GO as a serial command. So I'll uh, type GO as a serial command to update the firmware. I'll press GO and enter. And the firmware has been updated already. Now, for me, it's uh, always best practice to uh, read the CFX data regularly. Um, so let's do that. Right, once it's read, Press OK, then press the uh, auxiliary button to reset and to reconnect to the CFX. Now, your firmware is now updated, so you're now on uh, 7B. What you need to know is, uh, unless you have a very good reason not to, then you should replace uh, one folder of the SD card entirely. So delete this uh, extra folder and download the most recent default package and copy and paste that extra folder onto your SD card. So unless you've been changing uh, stuff in this extra folder uh, yourself, then there's no reason to, to keep it, just throw it out and uh, replace it with the one from the default package. Um, why? It's because the contents of this folder has been uh, shuffled around a bit uh, things got added like the, the, the graphics and the accent. So um, here are some uh, graphics animations. Uh, 
and other stuff got, got mixed around, so it's easier just to replace it entirely. Now, the uh, second step is to update the bootloader. Now, there's a serial command for that as well. And since the bootloader file is already on the Sabre, you can type unlock. And you need to repeat that three times. So uh, I've now done it one, once, twice, now three times. And it's a very quick process. So you see it's already done. Bootloader update result is OK. So the bootloader now is the uh, most recent version of the bootloader. Um, this means that from now the uh, auto update is enabled. And what can you do? Uh, instead of doing these uh, manual commands or doing the, the trick with both buttons pressed and a power cycle, uh, the only thing now that you need to do to update your firmware is to place a file on the SD card. And I can use the existing one. So here's the uh, firmware file. Now I can, uh, if you have another update, you can rename it to auto underscore fw dot that. And this is actually the only thing that you need to do. Just place the file uh, named auto underscore uh, fw dot that on your uh, SD card and then reboot your Sabre. So if I connect to the CFX, and if I now reset the Sabre, then the bootloader and firmware should automatically detect the new firmware file on the SD card and automatically kick in the firmware update process. So let's reset. Starting firmware update. Firmware updated. And that's it. So automatic firmware updates. If you update your bootloader and firmware to a recent version, then the only thing you need to do to update your firmware version is to copy and paste the firmware file and name it auto underscore fw dot that. Reboot your Sabre and the firmware process will kick in automatically. Um, that's about it for the automatic firmware update. Enjoy.